the Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde arriving there for the assembly to prove his majority, to make his show of strength finally in the assembly. And uh, he claims that he has over 165 MLAs with him and he's pretty confident of his victory today and he's uh, confident that the strength is going to be proved in his favour. And uh, in the latest breaking news that we have from the Assembly, it's that the MLA Santosh Bangar, who was with the Uddhav Thakre camp yesterday, he voted for the Uddhav Thakre uh, uh, camp's presidential candidate yesterday but today he has switched and it's expected that he will now vote for the Shinde camp. So that's another number that could be expected uh, to be added to the Shinde camp's numbers right before the flow test. <coughs> uh, right now uh, we know that Shinde said that he has over 165 and we can now see that more numbers are being added. Yesterday also the, there was a division of votes that was uh, demanded and division of votes happened to make sure that both the parties actually see who is voting for whom and we'll see whether that also happens today to see uh, which MLAs are voting yesterday. There was also some conversation about cross-voting. Right in the assembly, many leaders were uh, in between interrupting that there's cross-voting. Some leaders were also chanting ED, ED, signaling that some leaders, some MLAs are voting for the Shinde camp only because they fear uh, the enforcement directorate and other central agencies that are, of course, uh, off the cent uh, with the central government. So these uh, were the... Uh, th this is what's happening currently at the assembly. Uh, Udhav team's MLA Santosh Bangar has joined the Shinde camp. Saurabh, if you can get us more details on this, that's another number being added to Eknath Shinde's camp, another number being added to his list of supporters, the people who will vote for him today. That's right. You know, of course, there is going to be some amount of switching sides because remember, it's at the uh, matter at the end of the day, it's a whip and it's a matter of disqualification. Now, uh, uh, you know, this is something that we are going to see because obviously, if there is a whip and if the speaker is going to disqualify MLAs who don't vote according to the whip, and if the speakers recognize the rebel camp as the whip, then you might see some MLAs who don't want to lose their seats in the assembly might have to, you know, then uh, go and uh, vote and break ranks with the Thakre camp. So that is a possibility, that's very much a possibility given the situation we are in. Remember, there is a lot of fluidity at this point. You, you know, there are two camps claiming there are two whips. One, of course, has two-thirds and, you know, we must, you know, also report that the numbers matter. But there are two camps, two whips. One has been recognized by the earlier speaker, then the new speak, uh, deputy speaker, I beg your pardon, Narhari Zirwal. Then the new speaker got elected, then he recognizes the rebel camps as the, you know, Shiv Sena within the house. Now, if the others who don't vote, they are likely li to be liable for disqualification. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, things that are changing by the minute. And in this context, yes, you will see people switch sides because at the end of the day, it's a whip. No one wants to face an election. So... Uh, that is a political reality and yes, as much as all of this is seen as a Sena rebellion, it is now absolutely clear it's all directed and, you know, uh, and executed by the BJP, even though the BJP has emphatically denied. But Operation Lotus is not ending with forming government here. There's another part to this, this Operation Lotus in Maharashtra. It's going a step further. And what is that step further? The BJP wants to emerge as the sole Hindutva platform. It does not want another independent, boisterous Shiv Sena. It wants a Shiv Sena that's, you know, complementary to the BJP or subservient. And in that context, propping up Eknath Shinde is a strategic move. And also, there are several other calculations. Caste calculations in elections cannot be forgotten. Eknath Shinde is a Maratha face. And all of this is being timed to that. So let's not leave out these political calculations in this part of the political development.